So here we have the Vauxhall Astra 1.4 Turbo Elite Automatic on a 17 plate. Let me show you around the outside of the car first of all and then we'll hop in and I'll run for a few controls on the inside. As you'll see from the outside, it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We'll start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So you'll see as we approach the back of the car, we've got a three way split folding rear seat and plenty of boot space as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna make my way back around to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run for a few controls on the inside but as you'll see now that we've done a full circle of the car it's in fantastic condition the whole way round. Just briefly before climbing in I think it's well worth looking at the interior from this exterior point of view as you can see you've got full leather seats uh, which are in fantastic condition as are the carpet areas uh, there's plenty to run for on the dashboard so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the top, we've got the fuel gauge and oil temperature gauge, and beneath that, we have the trip computer, uh, at the bottom of which is the total miles of 7,481. Uh, you, can just, you can change the information that's displayed on the trip computer using the buttons on the steering wheel. So at the moment, we've got the digital readout for the speedometer, but there's all kinds of different fuel economy information and car-related data, uh, so plenty that you can go through there. And at the bottom right-hand corner of that display, you'll see that it'll tell you what gear we're in. As this is an automatic, we are currently in P for park. If we back out to the steering wheel, uh, we've got the arrows I was using a moment ago to go through those controls as well as uh, controls for the stereo, so volume, etc. And on the left hand side we've got cruise control and speed limiter as well as voice activation for the phone. So once you've paired up a phone, hit that button, ask it to dial someone in your contact and it will do that for you. The phone is initially paired up over on this central screen here. So this is all touch screen, very easy to use. So for example, if we want satellite navigation, we hit nav. If we want to go back to the main menu at any point in time, press the home button just there and there we are back to the main menu so you can pair up your phone here uh, in terms of music uh, you've got DAB digital radio as well as AM and FM radio as well you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth and there is a USB connection as well so there are plenty of ways of listening to music if we hit media at the moment it'll tell us that nothing is connected because it isn't of course and then the radio stations are very easy to tune as well working our way down we've got the dual zone climate control so you can adjust the temperature on the right and left hand sides of the car individually and then adjust the fan speed accordingly there. Hit AC to turn the air conditioning on uh, or auto and it will maintain these temperatures for you. In the winter this car has got heated passenger and driver seats as well as a heated steering wheel as well so really fantastic and they all work incredibly quickly so on those sort of cold mornings uh, you'll really feel the benefit of that. The fully automatic gearbox just there we then have an electronic handbrake a 12 volt charging socket and then all the way back inside the sensor armrest is the USB connection for uh, connecting up a device to listen to music. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, feel free to give any of our MJA sites a call. We'd love to hear from you soon.